Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the Build-A-Booth Christmas Characters add-on assembly video. So I'm using the Build-A-Booth Christmas Characters along with our Build-A-Booth die from Jada Blossom. I'm using Doodle Bugs plaid polka dot rainbow petite prints and I did cut the adorable base um, from the Build-A-Booth out of the G-Man Tindalo wood grain cardstock. It's just a craft wood grain. I also am using Simon Says Stamp Positively Velvet Snow White Luxury um, cardstock. So first I cut out the trim of his hat, of this hat in Paper Tank White cardstock. I'm using my Nouveau Glue. I'm using that Positively Velvet Snow White Luxury cardstock there. I'm going to layer those two together. So the top layer will have this velvety look, which is kind of nice. So I do layer them and I do weight it down. There we go. And I'm going to do the same for the little pom-pom. There we go. And there we go. And I will add, like I said, I'm going to do the pom-pom and the same thing. Paper Trank White cardstock and then the Positively Velvet Snow White Luxury cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. So you'll see that I'm working on my Stampin' Up! pad as per usual using reverse tweezers. I did all my die cutting today with my Anna Griffin Mini Empress machine. And there we go, working on my Stampin' Up! pad. I'm not sure if I said that. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut the hat out of pure poppy cardstock from Paper Trank, but it doesn't have to be pure poppy. It's just what I had lying on my on my uh, workspace. And then I'm going to layer that Doodlebug um, plaid polka dot in a red on the plaid side. And I'm going to layer that and weight it down. I'm going to add the beard to my little Build-A-Booth. And you'll notice that I just cut the background piece of the Build-A-Booth, right? I didn't bother with any of the planks because they're going to be mostly covered up, right? I'm going to add the paper trank white cardstock for the beard. I love all those swirling stitched details. It just looks great. There we go. So cute. I do weight it down. Now I'm going to... Um, figure out where my hat's going to go. And I will like use a pencil line just to kind of, you know, make sure I've got the glue in the right spot. And then that way I don't have glue, you know, kind of running out past my booth. Remember, you could use these on the front of a card. You could use these like in a, you know, you've got a nice little um, scene, you know, going with, you know, with some gnomes or whatever. You could use this um, as a treat box. Remember, use that treat box add-on to go with it. You know, whatever you like. So now I'm going to add my little furry trim with some Nuvo Crystal Glue as well. Or not, yeah, Nuvo Glue. There we go, isn't that cute? Now I'm going to add the little pom-pom to the tip of that little hat for the booth. And how cute is that? I just think it's adorable. Now I'm going to pop up his little mustache. That's kind of the same paper trank white cardstock. And I'm just using Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. They're kind of the ones that I reach for the most um, in the normal size. And then I also pull out the miniature size. There we go. So I'm just going to line up that mustache as well as I can. I do use P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones for the little nose. Uh, remember, Jada Blossom sells P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. Um, you know, and if they're not on stock, you know, just hit notifications. And there is a little nose. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Next, I'm going to put together this little Jolly Elf. Um, I do have a little booth that already was put together using the G-Man Tindalo wood grain cardstock. But remember, that is just a wood grain craft cardstock. Now I'm adding on pure poppy paper tray ink uh, for the hat. Then the, you know, two little green trims that was cut from Doodlebug's plaid polka dot on the plaid side. in kind of like a Christmas green. So cute. Now I'm going to add this to the bottom layer as well. I just think this is adorable. Isn't that cute? You could have a little elf, a little gnome elf peeking out from behind this booth on your card. Wouldn't that be cute? Now I'm going to add the two little buttons using those Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Like I said, so fun. Now I did go ahead and I cut the bell out of Recollections Gold Mirror cardstock. And then I'm adding um, the black, a black layer behind it. 
There we go. And then I will, you could leave it like this or you could cut out the little innards to the bell and I cut that out of black as well and I'll just add those in using my Studio Cat embellishment wand just because those are small pieces, you know, hard to pick up. But like I said, you could have left that part off, right? So now I'm going to add the little bell to the tip of this little elf booth. And then there you go, Bob's your uncle. Isn't that the cutest thing? So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe over at the Jada Blossom YouTube site and the Leanne K YouTube site. Bye everybody.